So we've got a mixture here of um, some brown bread, um, peas and uh, sweet corn unfrozen. Right, brace yourself, release the mad dogs. This way! This way! <laughs> Come on, you two! Anyway, right. Hello once again, YouTube. Andy here with a, uh, with a video, a continue, kind of a continuation of my video from this morning. Anyway, the time is uh, just after 1 p.m. Um, I think I've got a few hours of daylight. Um, I find myself once again out at Summerford Common. Uh, thanks to Steve who sent me um, uh, a few pics uh, via email. Um, he lives not too far away from here and he was saying that he's got a few little photos of wallabies and I was really intrigued uh, to see that and that's basically the reason why I've came back out here to Braden Forest or Summerford Common as it's more locally known I believe. So there's some interesting history about uh, Braden Forest, uh, Raven's Roost, um, Summerford Common. Uh, it once was a part of a far larger forest than we presently have today. So the Forest of Braden is an historical royal hunting forest in the county of Wiltshire in England, the remnant of which lies about six miles northwest of Swindon. In medieval times, it encompassed about 30,000 acres. In the year 688, Kyde Waller, King of the West Saxons, granted to Abbot Aldheim of Malmesbury Abbey in Wiltshire 30 hides on the eastern side of Braden Wood. At its greatest extent, Braden Forest covered about a third of the area of the county of Wiltshire, but over the centuries most of it was gradually cleared. A 108-acre, 44-hectare remnant south of Mighty, known as Raven's Roost Wood, was notified as a site of special scientific interest in 1989, and it is managed as a nature reserve by Wiltshire Wildlife Trust. This, I think, looks like a pretty good place to set off from with my DJI Neo. Um, one thing I have got to do is to uh, get myself all set up, so it'll take me a minute or two to do that. But whilst I'm doing that, I'd just like to say that I have actually come out with some decent footwear today. Unlike the other day when I was going to come out, I expected to go cycle riding uh i just couldn't do it around here just because it was just so wet um uh, but nonetheless uh today again i haven't got my bike with me um i just thought i'd come out here and basically go wallaby hunting <laughs> not the kind of thing you normally say in britain is it go wallaby hunting um but i've got it on good authority from several very reliable sources that there are wallabies in this particular wood, and it's quite a big wood as well. Um, so the place I went the other day, on my, I think it was my last video, uh, was perhaps about half a mile over that way. Um, I looked at my last video very closely, 
and I couldn't see anything so I don't think there's anything in that particular part of the wood when I was there. Uh, they are very elusive little creatures. They're not that big actually. Perhaps a, a bit bigger than a, a rabbit perhaps. I don't know. Very small though. Um, I was kind of expecting to see something. If I did see a wallaby I was expecting to see a bit, bit bigger than maybe the size of a rabbit or a, or a small hare. But anyway, um, yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting to fly my drone around and just to see what uh, what we might see. Okay. Right, anyway, guys, stick it on the old big screen there. Um, I am uploading my videos now in a higher format, 4K. And also, if you go on YouTube and hit like the, the gear sign down the bottom right hand side of the video and after a while it will actually go up to a higher resolution stick that on the big screen and it's really really good you can see a whole lot more and it uh, makes quite interesting footage as well anyway without any further ado I'll stick her up and uh, have a fly around and see what we we can see <laughs> So let's have some fun then, shall we? See what we can see. Here we go. Oh, here we go, get filming. And away we go. Once again, our second flight in this lovely little wood. And screaming through the, uh, the forest there. Uh, we try to keep it in a fairly airborne state. I take it fairly slow, and quite low. You never know, you, you just might see one. Um, just a lovely wood round here, it really is. I do like flying in what is kind of like the pine foresty kind of woods. Uh, it's just something about them, it just looks very kind of Scandinavian, I suppose. Okay. Right. We just scan the ground. We just have a nice, slow, casual little trek through this part of the wood. Just to see what we can see. You never know. We might. We might just get lucky. There's quite a few in here, apparently. I have heard that they're also in Raven's Roost, which is a wood, I suppose about a mile or so away from here, thereabouts. I have heard that, I think my brother Wiltshire Man was saying something about that. Um, but I have been out there and I did make a video of Raven's Roost and I did spend uh, a few hours out there and I couldn't, I couldn't see anything. But it's not to say that they're not there. Uh, they might well be, just that I didn't see them. Perhaps I was unlucky or something. I'm not exactly sure what kind of a place wallabies would actually um, sort of be jumping around, or what? Well, I, I guess this would anywhere, I suppose, in this particular wood. Apparently, they escaped from a, a farm zoo um, a few miles from here, a place called Grittenham. Uh, so Steve says in, in an email, thanks for your email Steve if you're watching, I do appreciate you sending me a couple of photographs and I hope you don't mind me sharing them uh, with others on my little YouTube channel. That might be the only time we actually ever get to see anything, I don't know, but I'm just very intrigued to see if we see any movement down there at all. I don't know if we will. All one can do is try. It's just nice to be out here, really, just to get out of the town for a few hours. Quite a busy morning this morning. Shopping, uh, not my favourite pastime, but the wife absolutely loves it. Christmas is not really my favourite time of year, if I was to be honest. Um, OK, just coming on behind me now, so we're just going to take it by me.
Oh well, we spotted a couple of dogs anyway. Kind of something, I suppose. Oh, hang on a minute. Don't go there. Brr, bring her back. Hit the brakes. <laughs> Hit the anchors a bit quick. Okay, let's go over this way, shall we? <clears throat> right, we go in this direction. We go a slightly different direction. We'll take it over this way, see if we can see anything. Just really nice just to fly it in the woods. It really does sharpen up your drone flying skills. Um, beautiful, isn't it? <clears throat> really nice. I've got lots of little woods like this around these parts where um, you never know, you just might see something quite incredible. Yeah. Being a Saturday as well, you'd have thought there might be a few people kind of wandering around. I did see a lady earlier, had a little chat with her for a couple of minutes where she was walking her dog. Um, but apart from that, I've not seen anyone else. Almost as if I got the wood for myself. Anyway, let's go deeper into the wood, shall we? Just to see if we can see any kind of movement at all. Right, I'm just glitching slightly, so I'm going to bring it bring it back a little bit I think All right, I don't want it to glitch too much otherwise I'll lose signal altogether then I I have to uh, go and retrieve it that's kind of what I've done now really okay okay I'm just glitching slightly I mean it's a thick old wood um, And the signal is kind of being blocked, I suppose, by the canopy. It's not helping any. Okay, I'm just going to go this way. Um, I mean, the little wallabies, they could be anywhere, literally anywhere in this wood, and not necessarily going to be out in the open. They're going to be in like little scrublands like this. So they're very elusive, they're very kind of, you know, um, like you would expect. They wouldn't want to um, be out in the open to be spotted. Yeah. Okay. Just um, perhaps get back in the wood again, I think. So bring it back over towards myself. Yeah. Anyway, this is not particularly everyone's cup of tea, watching a person fly a drone through the woods. Um, but, you know, it gives me an immense amount of satisfaction when I do do this. Because you just never know what, you know, what you might see. is just nature, I think, kind of at its best. And I love flying drones. I love being out in the woods. You know, it just ticks all the boxes for me, really. It really does. And um, I get some fresh air, I get a bit of exercise, the dogs get a reasonably good walk. Well, when I'm not flying my drone, of course. Let's go down here, shall we? Let's have a little investigation down this little part of the wood. A little scan around. See if there's anything about. I'm just glitching slightly. 
Let's just head on in this part of the wood. Just check it out. You never know, you might see something just scurry off into the undergrowth somewhere. Really thick, isn't it? Really thick, really dense. It does remind me a lot of another wood which I visited not so long ago. I just can't remember which wood that was. Anyway, such a lovely place to fly around and to in kind of investigate for a better word. I was zigzagging all over the place at the moment. Sorry about that, guys. If it's a bit a bit disorientating, I do apologise for that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've not spotted anything yet. Don't know if you guys have on the old big screen there. Um. Let's get back into the scrub. I think that's where they're probably going to be, I think. I'm belting around a little bit quicker, aren't I? I might be missing a few things, I don't know, but... got 24% battery, so I'm going to need to bring it back pretty soon. It's going to ask me to bring it back soon, so I won't go too far away with it. Such a great little drone this is, you can really throw it around and and if it kind of comes down then it's not going to be damaged. Not too much anyway, you hope. Okay. Right. I think what we'll do when we land this thing, I think we'll go and relocate ourselves a bit further, perhaps on another part of the wood, and go and check that bit out. I know roughly where I did last time, and I don't need to go back there, I don't think. So I'll probably prefer to go somewhere, somewhere different, I think. Okay. Right, let's bring her back, shall we? There we go. That's asking me to bring it back. And that's what we'll do. Oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Well, it's only just over there, so literally 25 metres away, so that's fine. Really nice, though. Really nice around here. I do like this wood. And it's kind of big enough where you can maybe, maybe make four or five different videos, probably even more than that. Because if I can maybe fly around maybe several hectares let's say you know at a time it'll probably take me maybe four or five visits to actually search out and fly out all of this particular uh, little wood it's quite a large wood actually a small forest perhaps i don't know when does a forest become a wood or wood become a forest <laughs> you tell me Okay, so even wearing the correct footwear, <laughs> you can uh, you can still come a cropper, as I found out to my embarrassment back there. But I'm going to leave it in, okay? I'll leave it in as a reminder to myself that I actually went um, arse over tits, as we stay and say in the UK. Right, okay, we relocated ourselves to a different part um, of the wood, 
Uh, let's go and hunt around and see if we can see something. You never know, you might find something interesting. Big screen again, guys. Okay, right, filming. And away we go. Which way should we go then? Let's take it off in maybe that direction over there, I think. Shall we get on with this one then? Shooting on the old 4K. Screaming away she is, there she goes. Into the undergrowth, kind of. Right, flying by your seat, your pants once again. Just shooting for the gaps and just seeing what we can see. You never know, you might find something, see something. Uh, which looks a bit like a, uh, a wallaby. I'm not sure we will, but you just never know. You just never know. Just have a bit of a hunt around to see what there is around this beautiful wood. I really do like it here. So a little hidden gem, this one. There's lots of little woods like this around. Okay. I'm not really sure whereabouts the little wallabies would be. Um, I don't even know if they go into hibernation, to be honest. I've not really checked that out. I won't be surprised if they have. Right, I've just lost signal. Okay, I'm just going to bring it back because I am in quite a dense part of the wood here. It's probably a little bit more dense uh, than where I was before. So it's a bit glitchy on screen. I've got to take it a bit careful because although I could be pushing a stick forward, it's not registering on what I'm seeing on my uh, display in front of me. Uh, so I've got to be a little bit mindful of that. bit of the pathway there so I'll just take it over this way back towards myself get our, get ourselves back in the foresty parts where there's not so much in the way of foot footways and footpaths and things lots of little um, brooks and things running through this particular wood I don't know whether there's um, you know, springs or natural water sources coming up from out of the ground. That might be the case. Well, I don't know. Ooh. Steady on, old chap. Anyway, um, yeah, I've been out this morning. I've done two quotes uh, for jobs. I've got them both. I think I might have maybe just underquoted them slightly, but... You know, I'm a fledgling business. It's all about getting work and getting your name out there, doing the best job you can, getting yourself, building yourself a reputation, you know, for doing a good job, for being reliable, for not charging the earth and ripping people off. Um, you know, so, you know, that's just how I operate, basically. I, I, I could probably charge more for my services. <laughs> my first customer, my second customer I went to, for a quote today she said is that all i charge her between 60 and 80 pounds it's only a little two two up two down kind of a a little property in swindon there you know and she's in her mid to late 80s now and you know she lost her husband some years ago and i thought well you know i shouldn't really let emotions get involved or in the way of of business really um but you know i can i'm actually Working it out, I'm earning more money doing what I'm doing than I was when I was taxi driving. I mean, the amount of um, overheads you've got when you're a taxi driver is just ridiculous. The insurance is like, you know, £1,500 for insurance. Uh, then you've got to pay for your badges and your licenses. And, you know, running a car isn't cheap. If the car goes off the road, then you're losing money. Uh, you've got to get it repaired, you know, it costs money again. So it's it's not cheap running a little taxi service. I d I've done it since 1988, 1989. You know, I, I just had a gut full of it now and there's just so many cameras around as well just waiting to watch you foul up and then they send you a fine. 
So, you know, I've just, I've had a gut full of it now. I, I've done, I've done my time taxi driving. I've had enough of it. I'll just carry on doing what I'm doing with the, um, with the old gutter cleaning and whatever else. And I enjoy it. You know, plus when you go down to the airport, there's always a chance that the plane is delayed, that your customers are delayed, um, that there's a problem with the baggage, there's a problem with immigration. It's just not straightforward, it really isn't. Anyhow, I'm just losing signal here. I'm just going to bring it back towards the home point slightly, just to regain my signal. Home point is straight ahead, so we carry on. You know, I have been reading. Oh, I have been reading. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Big hit there. Um, have been reading your comments, um, and I try and respond to every single one. I do apologise if I don't respond to your particular comment. I, you know, I can't respond to everything. I I try to, but I sometimes miss one or two. This is where FPV would be really good, to be honest. I just don't like the way it banks around, though. It does kind of bank around a bit, FPV. I don't really like that. It's a bit disorientating, to be honest. I think we're on a pathway here. I don't really want to go on too many pathways, so I think I'll just bring it back in to the wood again. We'll have a little hunt around think perhaps over this way to see if we can hug the ground and we might see something kind of interesting let's go over here shall we not been over this part yet I don't think mind you it all looks the same doesn't it right we're just going to take a just take it a bit slower now, okay, on this particular flight. I just want to see if I can maybe see something close down and just try and stealthily, if it's possible, with this screaming thing going through the forest, creep up on something. You just never know. Anyway, yeah, so. I mean, work at the moment, you know, is going is going really quite well for me. Oop. Um, you know, I've, I've kind of fallen on my feet in a sense. You know, um, I think if you can if you can do a good job, if you can show that you're charging, you know, a fair price, um, and it's the same with any. I think any um, kind of business, really, if you if you're doing a good job, you're charging a fair price. I think you you should always have you should always have work. Not you know not everyone can be bothered to clean have their gutters cleaned out. You know, it, it's a job where they just call you when there's a, a a problem. Otherwise, you know, you don't hear from people. It's only when they've got a problem they call you. You know, so it, it's 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 very much like an emergency. You know, oh, come and help! My gutters are, uh, you know, they're, they're they're overflowing and it's causing causing a problem. That's when you hear from people. You know, um, it, it's not so much prevention. It's it's more like you know, I need you now, kind of thing. Can you come Battery out? Battery level is low. Can can you? Aircraft will return to the home point in ten seconds. No, no, don't do that. No, <laughs> they only call you. People only call you. Get their gutters cleaned out if they've got a major problem. Um, that's what I found. You know, in having conversations with people. Okay, right. So we're just um, getting a bit of a a problem with uh, signal at the moment. I'm just going to bring it back to the home point, um, which appears that the home point isn't the home point because I've moved <laughs> it hasn't hasn't logged on to me yet so I think I need to maybe bring it back towards this so that could actually cause me a bit of a, a bit of a problem actually but I'll bring it back this way and then hopefully I can um, I can maybe start to start to hear it as it gets closer anyway we try and bring it through uh, through the forest in this direction battery level is low and when we uh, aircraft 
will return to the home point in 10 seconds. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> um, and on the way back, we'll uh, we just see if we can see something jumping around or whatever else. Okay, but it's been a really lovely experience out here for myself and my dogs. Okay, so it's it's asking me to come back home now. So I think that's what we'll that's what we'll do. We we'll bring it back to the home point. So everything is good. I've got my I've got my drone back, all intact, no damage. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting a little time out here, hasn't it? I've been looking around for any kind of evidence for, let's say, wallaby prints or whatever else, and I can't really see any. Um, I thought I might at least see something, droppings, you know, a paw print or, or whatever else, but um, I can't see any, but it doesn't mean to say that there's nothing in the wood. Uh, so it's a very intriguing wood, very wild. I really like it out here, actually. I'm going to come out here again, I think, and, um, you know, go and, and, and I'm really, I really want to find these wallabies, to be honest. I want to get some nice photographs and pictures of them. Um, if they're out here, then I, I want to find them, basically, and I'll keep coming back here, you know, from time to time until I do find them. Anyway, guys, I just want to say thanks for watching. I've now got to go home and uh, put up a Christmas tree. Oh, joy. Uh, but um, I've got to try and appease the wife, I suppose. I've had my bit of fun out here, so I've, I've got to uh, go and um, do as I'm told, let's say. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Please like and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. Uh, it's not everyone's cup of tea. I do understand that. But uh, hey, look, I'm having fun. I'm having an absolute ball out here. I absolutely love it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.